Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. We have to soak in all of the autumn and fall decorations as much as we can. We have, sadly, I think just a week left. When do they come down? A week from today? We will be here for the first morning of Christmas, by the way. You don't want to miss it. Monorail check. So normally we do a live stream on November 1st every year, first thing in the morning, to watch and see the beautiful turnaround from Halloween one night to the holiday decorations the next day and all the Christmas decor and such. But I believe this year there's a Halloween party on November 1st, which means November 2nd will be the day. So... I've already made a reservation. I'll make sure we're here that day an hour early. Because I love that stream. It's fun. It's something we've done every year. That's how I like it. We're also, I believe, a week away from the Run Disney Wine and Dine weekend. I know there's going to be a lot of people in town. I can't wait to see all of you. Lauren's running all three races. I think she's very close to her goal if you want to help out. I, think, I believe it's posted in the Discord. I'm just doing the 5K. It'll be fun. And we're going to live stream that as well. So lots of Halloween stuff. Lots of Epcot concerts coming up. Four Wilderness streams. The first day of the holidays and the Run Disney weekend. We'll also show you the expo and everything going on over there. We're going to try and get over there next week as well. So lots of content coming your way. Get ready because here I come. The sign is out. Tonight's not so scary is sold out. Ugh, these lines. I thought you'd all be inside by now. I'm the one who's late to the party. Miles from your nice. Whew. Almost sneezed. I'm allergic to lines. But da 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 da. Ooh. Well, we'll just go here. Look at this. Proud of myself, made a park reservation today. Thank you. 
Sorry. You see how that turned the pumpkin colors? Yeah, that's this cool magic band. I love this one. Here we are celebrating Disney 100 and all those beautiful autumn colors. It's Halloween season. Crazy to think this stuff has been up. <laughs> crazy to think this stuff's been up since the beginning of August. We've arrived. Look how beautiful. A great morning here. You can tell, even though it looked crazy outside, these are pretty light crowds. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a pretty good day for us. As I was saying earlier on party days, tonight's a Halloween party, so the parks only open until six to the public. Unless you have party tickets. So a lot of people tend to do the other parks on those days so they can get their full money's worth, including fireworks. Well, Main Street vehicles are out and about. Great group photo here. Wow. It's a big undertaking, but very impressive. Look at that. Oh, I love hearing the families all excited around me. Oh, yes, I needed this today too. This is beautiful. I've always wondered if this watch place does batteries. Let's ask. It's probably a million dollars, but I'll ask. I have a random question. Do you change watch batteries by chance? That's what I figured, but all right. No worries. I like it. We're from Queens. I love it. We're going to pop out into the picture alley here. So a lot of fun pictures taking place back here. Also, where you uh, do tours, sometimes you meet back here as well. You can head backstage through those doors right there. But this whole area, underappreciated. <laughs> oh, I think I hear some Dapper Dan's. I think we're gonna come back here and check all this out later too because I love when they're working the glass blowing in the back. Did you know they do their glass work right up front here, but also there's a full glass blowing area in the back. And look at this, for $285,000, this could be yours. So yeah, we'll head back later on. But they got the ovens back here. You can tell they're fired up, super hot. Ooh, the dance. Let's go out this time. A whole dear applause. Thank you. 
Hey! M-O-U-S-E! Mickey Mouse! Donald Duck! Don't even think about following them, you might get clipped by a bus! That is the fastest I've seen that bus fly down Main Street. What a magical way to kick off your day. Let's see how long this line is. I can see if uh, it's worth it getting a coffee. How's it going? Uh, this isn't that terrible. It's a little too long for us, though. We'll check back later. It's all right. It smells great, though. I can't make all of you wait in line just so I can have an espresso. That's crazy. There's too much magic to be had. Plus, maybe, just maybe, there's no line at Joffrey's in Tomorrowland. Let's check it out. Jeez, that was an aggressive shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned this on some past streams, but you do have the step and repeats out for the Halloween party that you can pop into during the day. And they even, there are even some photo pass people out here. One of the perks of uh, coming on a Halloween party season. Also, uh, I don't know if I, the people want to know, but we've had some awesome Discord and Patreon members who were here recently and said for their Halloween party or happily ever after, both you know, different people, that they've really enjoyed this fireworks dessert party that for the, you know, with taxes, fees and everything, it's just shy of a hundred bucks a person, you know, 70 to 90 bucks a person. But you get the reserved seating for fireworks. You don't have to worry about fighting a crowd. And it includes desserts and alcoholic beverages. So if you, over what, three hours? Me personally, I think I can get my money's worth for that. And this is where it is right here. Here's Stitch at the 50th. We, uh, we're we waiting to see what they do about this because the 50th is over, but they're keeping the gold statues. Oh. Oh, they're doing a stage show. Maybe we have to go back. I still have to catch up with the chat. I'm going to say hi to everybody. Trust me. As soon as we have, have the opportunity, everybody's getting love. Maybe we'll do a people mover catch up. But first, let me just see. Maybe we'll watch a little bit of the stage show. We haven't done that in a while. And I'm in the mood for a little Main Street magic, if you will. But definitely drop in the, uh, the chat here what you want to do today. We'll try to do as much as we can. And definitely, please, hit that like button. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. Check out the socials, at Official Carney on Instagram, at your WDW guy on Twitter. Adventures by Carney is the TikTok. Adventures by Carney is the Patreon. Adventures by Carney is what you're watching right now. I'll try not, not, I'll try not to sing, it's gonna be hard. This is a real cute song after like the pandemic because like you didn't miss the theme park, especially with you. You know, we had just moved here.
Marlin Traveler with the big super chat. I'll give you more love in a second, but thank you so much, Daniel. That's so nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
to this thing. at Walt Disney World?
having a swinging good time. You win. Finding the confidence to be true to yourself. That's right. Here's to all of us, orphans and those. More hugs for everyone. <laughs> Well, that was fun. We invite you to enjoy the rest of your magical friendship fair day here at the Magic Kingdom. Feels like home. So magical. I just want to ride in this vehicle all day. <laughs> I like that somebody like was legit asking like to go to a certain spot in the Magic Kingdom. He's like, well, it's a one-way trip to the end of Main Street. <laughs> can you imagine getting that? Be like, I'm looking to get to uh, Big Thunder Mountain, and if you can get me there in uh, under two minutes, I'll, I'll slip you another uh, Lincoln. It's so funny. All right, we're gonna head back on our original journey to see if possibly the Joffrey's line is not overwhelming. But there's still plenty of fun things to do back here too. You know me, I love a nice trip on the people mover. I really fell back in love with Carousel of Progress recently. It's just been so long since I've done it. And we did it, uh, I don't know, I honestly have no concept of time right now, but what is that, a week ago? <laughs> Two weeks ago, a month ago, 10 years ago. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Happy Thursday. If you are, please hit that like button. It really does help. We are so close to 100 likes. That would be really cool. Let's see if we can get those nine last likes in seven minutes. A race to the one hour mark. And thanks if you're a subscriber. How's it going? 
And if you're a new subscriber and you want some love, say hi in the chat. I will catch up as soon as I sit down somewhere. It is just a very bright morning. Hi. Just a bright day. Hard to read the screen. She's looking at me like I know her and she looks familiar. Uh, if you ever come, want to come up and say hi in the parks, please do. I love saying hi to people, but just remind me your name. Even if we met once or twice, it just helps. Uh, breakfast bowl being served here now with potato barrels topped with a cheese omelet, chili con carne queso and sour cream. How dare they use my last name in that debacle of a bowl. A lot of tours today. It's like the easily like the ninth tour I've seen, just in the first forty-five minutes here. Field Space Mountains five minutes. What in tarnation? This doesn't look terrible. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I could use a little pick me up. I want a half hour of sleep. This is crazy pants, man. Space Mountains, five minutes. So we do space. Do you guys want to fly through space? It's dark and it's sketchy. It's really just me yelling. Should we do it? It's five minutes. I mean, I'm, it's like a gravitational pull. How do you walk past space in five minutes? I'm just saying, sorry about that. I'm saying we just got to do it. We got to. Plus, it'll give us a chance to catch up in line. Catch up with some chat. Say hey, howdy, hey to some people. This is an eight minute walk. I call shenanigans. All right, first things first, a big shout out to the Tomorrowland Traveler for the super chat. So kind, so awesome, so nice. $50 super chat, what a guy. And did it not even to promote himself, which I'm gonna promote him anyway, because he's so awesome. And you should totally go follow the Tomorrowland Traveler on YouTube and the tomorrowlandtraveler.com. But he put in his super chat, make sure you head over to our Discord. And by our, I mean all of us, which is also so nice, you know, because it's a community. I love that. Please head over to the Discord and use the link to support Lauren's Run Disney uh, fundraising. Yes, yeah, so Lauren's so close. She's running for the National Down Syndrome Society for the Run Disney Weekend next weekend. She's so close to her goal. If you're able to help out, Danny was kind enough to post the link right in his super chat. So go scroll up to that beautiful super chat. And if you want to make a donation for Lauren to the National Down Syndrome Society, you can do so. We're only nine likes away. Nine likes. Let's go. Attention Space Mountain passengers. Let's see if it's truly a walk-on. Maybe I won't have time to catch up. I'm going to go back as far as I can. Let's just go back and see what happens. I can go back as far as 8.13. Jacob Herring in the house. Expecting mothers should not ride, and passengers who do not meet the minimum height requirement may not ride. Be sure to supervise children at all times. And remember that passengers in wheelchairs must transfer into a rocket to participate in this launch. Thank you, and enjoy your night. All right.
So no goal in space. One, more than five minutes. Two, we lost service right as soon as the line stopped. So we, we bailed. We gotta put the stream first. And the whole ride's in the dark anyway. They did just up the time to 20 minutes. So that makes sense. All right, let's see what else we got going on over here. Line looks like it keeps getting better. Oh yeah, this is very manageable. Oh, there's only like six people in front of me. This is great. All right, while we're waiting, I could say hi. There's a nice little breeze. We'll give you a little Magic Kingdom view here. Lynette, what's going on? Robert Dees is lurking in North Carolina. <laughs> Sarah, good morning. It is a beautiful Thursday. Mark Mueller, what's going on? I appreciate you stopping in. Shelly's in the house. Stephen Noon, the MVP. Shelly, hope we uh, send you some positive vibes and you start feeling better. Rooting for you. Andrew C. in the house. Dawn is here. Here comes Boston. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for being here. Colleen Kidder, our queen. Colleen in the house. Moogle is here. What's up, Moogle? Colleen, off day after working seven days in a row. Well, you deserve a day off. Chef Ricky checking in from Amelia Island. What's going on, Chef Ricky? Thanks, Colleen, for that nice comment. What's up, Matthew Kent? Thanks, Colleen, for posting our Discord link right here in the chat. Thanks again to Daniel for that awesome super chat and promoting Lauren's fundraiser for this weekend. Hi, Bonnie Young. Good morning from Mobile. All right, we're definitely doing the people mover, Colleen. You got it. How can I say no? Hi, Will. Apex, what's going on? Hi, Captain Kirk. Hi, Rebecca Dolan. Phenomenal brandy. Yeah, you guys already got a ride on Space Mountain when I had to put the phone in my pocket earlier. What's going on, Disney Escapades with Tim? Hi, Christina Wise, good morning. Steven into there's Christmas decorations already going up at Springs and Animal Kingdom as well. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, yeah. well, that's great news. Daniel Lauren hit her goal, but we're trying to get her over. Oh, that's so great. I'm so happy. Sean Urban, what's up? Another awesome, awesome dude. Everyone go follow Sean Urban. Jason Meckis, good morning. Anthony Makuto, good morning. Mike Graney, what's going on? It says, I got the bills by a million tonight. Okay, all right. I'm on the Pete McDevitt show. Okay, I guess I'm being cut. They didn't waste any time jumping up there. <laughs> Dang. How's it going? Can I do? Do you guys do triple espressos? Yeah, I'll do that please. That's it. Yeah. 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 
Okay, we're gonna pick it right now. Okay. Thank you. Pick up here. We're gonna go in the shade. Give that a minute. What's going on, Jaime? Checking in from Chile. So thanks for the early show, my pleasure. We're trying to do them whenever I can. Just hard getting three hours in the morning free. Savage, what's going on? Andrew's got a goal for the 5K, 2630. Well, you could blow past us. I'm pretty sure I found a, a group. I think we're gonna, cause I'm live streaming it. We're gonna do like a slow jog with a few stops along the way to show everyone what goes on along the 5K. Look at this little friend, tiny little thing. Colleen said I'd be uh, along the route cheering, running's not my thing. Well, that's what I'm doing for the 10K and the half. I'm, uh, I'm, a che I'm in the cheering section. What's going on, Nico the Greco? Thanks again to Colleen for posting all the links to all the socials, our website. Look who just came out of nowhere. Stitch just sneaking out. I just in my periph just saw Stitch just coming out over here. Just randomly. Look at Stitch just having a nice, delightful morning. So the fun thing about Disney races, uh, the 5Ks are pretty friendly. They don't time them. They do time you for the 10Ks and the half. So I think a lot of people are going to be doing the 5K not as competitively, and I think Lauren's going to be more competitive in the 10K and the half marathon. And I'll be competitively streaming for all of you. <laughs> Mr. Dave, good morning. Great to see you. Hi, Gallery. Good morning. What's going on to Mike Freeman? WDW POV, what's happening? Justin Murray, what's up? Justin said, yeah, are you even a Disney fan if you pass it up? The only reason I left is because uh, we lost service in there, which is rare. I think just, I guess it's because we never normally stop. We go right through. I do love the Star Tunnel music, though. I'm with you on that. Yeah, so if we ever buffer or spin or blur out, just hit refresh. I'm always working on it on my end. Want to give you the best possible picture, just let me know. Yeah, Space Mountain ate us. We did get to see the queue at least. There you go, Rebecca Dolan. Glass is half full. Yeah, Don says sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hi, Todd. Kimberly Yeaton in the house. Good morning, Lauren's here as well. We're only five likes away from 100. I appreciate that. Julia Bowers, what's going on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the guy that jumped into the Laguna at Epcot is not going to be welcome back. Pretty good. Hi, Green Giant. <laughs> Steven, the best part of waking up is three espresso shots in your cup. No doubt. Normally, I do a double espresso, and it's like I'm fine. But I figure since I'm on like 30 minutes and I got a busy day, with uh, seven hours in theme parks, so I would keep it moving.
Did you guys pull that espresso out? I just walked away and came back. So. Thank you so much, appreciate it. I'm pretty sure it's the double, which is fine. Still will do the trick. Feels like home. Kind of crazy, we're a week away from November already, so insane. But also, the, the weather's just starting <laughs> to calm down. This still blows my mind, and I've lived here for four years. All right, let's go move some people. Good chance for you to chat with everyone, relax, get a nice tour, and uh, have an espresso. Do you like this new red color scheme on the costumes for Tomorrowland? Let me know what you think. Also, I should have refilled my water bottle. This awesome water bottle right here, which I think there's just a few left. I've been saying that for like a month. I feel like we've had just been trickling through the last few. Please step into the platform, then step into the car. For your safety, remove your seated at all times. Keep your hands, arms, feet, legs, and What a beautiful simple perfect concept for an attraction and also a mode of transportation everybody likes convertibles and shade it's brilliant get out of just me sorry <laughs> i almost about to sneeze oh Sorry, you go ahead. We're gonna hang for a minute while I chug this espresso. It is so hot. It is so hot. It's so hot. We're almost there, we're almost there. We can do it, we can do it. We did it. Yes. No problem. Looks like you're going to get the front row. Hey, love it. VIP service here. 
This, she's calling my name. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Feels like home. I mixed in with my fuel rod. It's my organizational table comes right across here. Get rid of these now because the new ones are back. What I really need is one of you. Have a great day. Step carefully onto the moving platform, then step into the car. For your safety, remain seated at all times, keeping hands, arms, feet, legs, and other appendages inside your car. And please supervise younger beings. Stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. Here we go. Can't wait. Only three likes away from a hundred. Let's go. Let's go. This is the team. Ah, oh, this is the wife. This is it. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Warrant 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster labs, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. Progress City. Walt Disney's amazing dream for the community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny people Peach Peaches says, love the newest short, Nightmare Before Christmas with Place Pizza. What a great idea. Uh, was not where you could bring out some food in. So you really can't. Uh, I probably should have disclosed that. Is you should eat before you go to the movies. It really depends on who's working at the door. I know some people uh, are hardcore about the no outside food or beverage. There's a lot of other uh, cast members or AMC employees that know that you're on vacation at Disney Springs, so you might have food leftovers, you might have some shopping bags. You are there on vacation. So I would say they have every right to stop you. I have been stopped to say, hey, you can't come in with things before, but I don't know. I like to say 75% of the time, they're pretty cool at AMC Disney Springs. But I wouldn't like, <laughs> I wouldn't uh, advertise like how much food you're bringing in. They're cool up to a point. But it was a fun time and it was a great movie. Finally got to into the uh, The train. Look at this shot. Tron and the train. And a people mover. No, no. Where's my train shot? There he is. I don't know what's going on inside of Space Mountain today. Streaming. I wonder if. On. Okay. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, a 
our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. The Astro Orbiter is the ride right on top of the People Mover load platform, so when you hear that it is actually the Astro Orbiter ride ending and all the cars descending right on top of the roof. There's the train. We're, we're I love it. Let's race the train. Do you see the steam Next coming over the top? Is right Walt there. Disney's Carousel of Progress. As usual, we'll be ahead. And so is the carousel. Like progress itself, this theater never stops. Inspiring new Can't stop, won't stop. to dream of a great big beautiful tomorrow. Yeah, sorry for the stream troubles. I don't know, Space Mountain just today is the only, uh, giving us some issues. Ooh, good to know. Brandy says a uh, good vegan veggie option at AMC Disney Springs. They have vegan-friendly impossible chicken nuggets. Huh, I'll have to give those a try. I use a chicken nugget right now. Oh, I don't know why. Just As soon as you said chicken nugget, I'm like, I could go for a chicken nugget. I've had a chicken nugget in so long. All right. That's all bad. You still remember what your old pal said. Mike Wazowski has brought in some real monsters of comedy. Whether you have one eye or nine, take the time to see this show. Wee! Dawson, the impossible nugs of the brewing experience over at Epcot are great. I agree. My fellow sentient life forms, people mover journey has nearly come. Tomorrow I travel. I've never run across a meat chicken nugget. I wonder what makes these so friendly. They are some friendly, friendly nuggets. Because now is the time. Now is the time. It must be where those chickens were raised. To go out and explore tomorrow. Or the, I mean, guess they're not chickens, so. You know, don't judge a nugget by its crispy, tender skin. What are we talking about? All this chicken nugget talk. First there is toast, now there is cake. Step onto the moving platform with caution and exit by stepping away from the car. Thank you. Here we go. Please keep arms and titty and other appendages away from the doors and remain seated until they open automatically. Step onto the moving platform with caution and exit Here we go. Thank you. Hi, Sharon. Have a good day. Have a good old day. What am I saying today? Words are a real issue today. <laughs> you know, it's just one thing you need to live stream. Besides a camera, I guess. What is going on? I'm a silly goose. Give me nine more of those espressos. We'll be good to go. All right, take a look, it's in a book. Where should we go, uh, where should we go? Let's get some Magic Kingdom ambiance. See what's going on in all the... Wow, look at everyone Disney bounding. Who's who? I see Cinderella. I see Snow White. I see Belle. I see Tank. Ah, couldn't get the rest. Rats. Speaking of rats, I can go over some pizza Rizzo. <laughs> I think I'm the only person who says that, but... It's an acquired taste. It's like, I love Elio's pizza, 
And Lauren's like, what? How do you like that? And look at these dogs. Get out of here. Yeah, Lauren's like, how do you eat that and still try to say you like pizza? And I'm just like, yeah, that's the way I grew up. Let's see what uh, souvenir pennies are over here. We got Pluto. We got Minnie driving the car. Mickey's got the checkered flag and he's got the racer on the end. Oh boy, oh boy. Good luck, everyone. Drive safe. Put your seatbelts on. Don't speed. Have a nice race. Drive like a New Yorker today. I don't think they're in the right park. They said, what do you want to do? Smugglers run or rise the resistance? Uh, I got good news and bad news. Tomorrowland Speedway. Rocking a 10 minute wait. It's not awful. It looks longer than 10 minutes though. That's a 15 at least. Come on. One thing I got to show a lot of you if you were here for our Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party stream is some cool areas that most people would just walk by. But I'll go show you during the day what it looks like. So we did it during the Halloween party. And maybe, just maybe, I could show you something new. Or remind you what I showed you the other night on the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party stream. And if you missed it, it was a ton of fun. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think we did everything. I'm still seeing, uh, if I could sell a kidney or some of my supreme liver and uh, I need to get tickets for Jollywood and Mickey's Christmas party so I can bring them to you live. But I'm, I'm fairly confident we'll, we'll make it happen. We got a crazy three weeks coming up, but I love it. So excited to see a lot of you. We had a lot of you here at the beginning of October. And I know there'll be a lot of you in town next week, beginning of November, for the Run Disney weekend. So pumped to say hi to old friends, see some new ones, meet some people for the first time. Whoa. Note to self, don't cut through the stroller parking. So if you come to Dumbo, fun, fun spot, nice spot. But did you know you could go inside? Let me show you. I can get inside this way, right? Yeah, awesome, thanks. Just making sure. Dumbo's only five minutes. We're not gonna do Dumbo today. We did, we've done it in the past. Also, I don't know uh, how great of a stream is, like how, why are words so hard today? I uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Peter, focus on the words. What I'm saying is that if I'm on Dumbo going in circles, I don't think it makes for the best stream for everyone watching. It's fun for me. Step right up, come play inside. We'll let you know when it's your turn to ride. So we did this during the Halloween party. And I don't think a lot of people knew that there's an entire playground in here. You can go hang out with your little ones and let them just party it up until they want to go. So there's this whole inside area. If you're hot, you want to cool off. Congrats, Macy. Like I'm just showing it off for the parents and leaving. <laughs> but yeah, multi-store, you got Dumbo flying around. Take an AC break, charge your devices. This is the spot to be right here inside of Dumbo. 
Now we're just gonna leave. <laughs> um, you can get a pager, play in the circus, return it to the ringmaster, fly around. And it felt wonderful. That was a nice AC break just for me. And then when you're done playing, you can go ride Dumbo. How cool is that? Weird, this is the second, <laughs> the first dream ever, but the second time we're walking backwards in a line. Ever notice the peanuts in the concrete? Super cool, right? I don't know if anyone else watches Welcome to Wrexham on Hulu, a Disney company. But that last two episodes got me so emotional. They were fantastic about the Wrexham women's team. It's great. If you want a good cry, if you want to go support, you know, women's sports and, and whatnot, the last episode of Welcome to Wrexham was so good on Hulu. The whole show is fantastic. You should watch it from start to finish. The Barnstormer featuring the great Goofini. Five minutes. Everything's just saying five minutes. Splash pad, another great area for the, the kids to run around if it's a hot day. But watch out, don't get spit on. These camels are moving and grooving. We got elephants trying to get you. These camels can't be trusted. Or else you end up like this guy. 98th year, Animal Kingdom has opened up. All of these correlate to the different years that the four parks here opened up. You cut it out. 89, Hollywood Studios. 71, Walt Disney World. I mean, Magic Kingdom, but also the whole place. And 82, Epcot. Let's see what's happening up here. 55, the year Disneyland opened. I said, there's no way that these are only five minutes, too. Another great shaded area with some charges, some uh, waters right there. Some charging ports. 15 for Goofy and Donald, 20 for Minnie and Daisy. Not bad at all. The Great Goofy. Thanks everybody who hit the like button and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great Thursday so far and a fantastic week. Oh, pump fake. Oh, what pennies do we have here? Come one, come all. The Great Goofini. Storybook Circus. Love it. What a fun gift shop. With the hoops up there. Nick says, you're so knowledgeable, like our very own little private VIP tour guide. Well, hey, I try. Thanks for saying that, Nick. What's up, Terp? Carter Reed in the house. Mr. Dave says, I love Elios too. <laughs> and the tree, and Liberty Treats ever. Nice. <laughs> we went into a whole conversation about the chickens, which is great. Anything new or exciting or fun in here? It certainly smells delicious. Lots of 
It's a sweet treat. It's like my nickname back in the day. Sweet Pete, the ladies treat, the women fight for my delight. Little rap battles, come on. You say, Carney is coming, one, two, check. I don't come wrong, I come correct. Oh, oh, snap. All right, enough, let's get out of here. I embarrass myself for all of you. How's it going? Good, thanks. Feels like home. You think it's right we still call this new Fantasyland? It is beautiful. When's the acceptable time to drop the new in New Fantasyland? Until there's another new one? Is there a year cutoff? Look at the beautiful rock work. To be honest, it kind of is gonna match Tiana's large hill. It looks like that a little bit already. Under the sea. Currently only a, let me guess, five minute wait. Everything's five minutes today. I bet you seven dwarves isn't. I'm not kidding, all that chicken tendy talk? I'm craving some chicken tendies. If you uh, are skipping the roller coaster and want to see your friends and family, this is the spot right here. Hi, friends. Hi, family. Because then you get one, you get the drop, and then you get them across the bridge. Oh, there they are. And this is where you come right out of the mine. In a mine. In a mine. There is the beast castle. Here they come. I like just stopping to look. Uh, obviously, like we'll wait for a train. So it looks cool. Here they come. But they got a few waves there. But I like all the attention to detail stuff. Like even holding up this like lamp with the rope. That's fun. You don't need stuff like that. The half logs across the bridge. That's fun. Look at the beautiful flowers on top of this mini mountain <laughs> I know that it's a mine train but it's a mini mountain we're in fantasy land people it's whatever you want it to be be our guest the next time I'm here with a child and we're live streaming um, <laughs> obviously he's a child that I know We'll do Enchanted the Tales of Bell. We haven't done that in forever, too. It's 35 minutes right now, which is also crazy. But we haven't done it in so long. I just think it's a little weird to do by yourself, so. I feel like that one will bring the niece and nephew along, or one of the many amazing little ones that get to come to Disney with me. I say get to come with me because, I'm not going to lie, Uncle Pete hooks it up. Let's take a little poll. Do you think so? They painted the castle this pinkish, palish color for the 50th, quote unquote. Do they change it back, change it to something new, or leave it? And if they are going to change it, when do you think they do it? Let me hear it here in the chat. 
And I will give you all the credit if you're right. You could say, hey, I said it on Pete's live stream. Go back and look. Make your predictions. Stay the same. Change it back or change it to something new. And if they change it, when does that happen? There's uh, two water stations right out here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use one. Wunderbar. Let's enter. Ooh, the bells, the bells, the bells. Here we are, Pinocchio's Village House. Village House. I'm, I'm just cutting through to that side. <laughs> it's like, where? Tell me more. <laughs> When you wish upon a star. Also, one of the boss tables, I just, for some reason, I just always picture, like, this is where the, the mob boss sits. Right here, this table in the corner. It's a legit table. Plus, you have the when we wish upon a star right here, and you're close to the restrooms, but still a door away, so it's not weird. Now, the question is, where can I put you? I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out. We can do it. We can do it. Also inside of the Pinocchio Village House, you could uh, hoose. You can wave to people on it's a small world. So if you're skipping that, if you want to wave to some strangers or your family and friends, you can get a spot on the opposite side where we just walked out and wave to your family and friends. They used to have signs you could hold up. Oh, they did just bring back that flatbread too. Maybe I should get a flatbread. I don't know what to do. Should I get a flatbread? Forgot they just brought it back. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Absolutely not. Get out of here. <laughs> I can barely see the chat, but I saw Lobster Oil Columbia Harbor House, and we've ruled that out. It used to be great. Sadly, the times, they are changing. I don't like to say I dislike it. I just like to say there's better food options. Small World currently closed. I guess it's not a small world after all. Izzo, what's going on? Good morning. Great to see you. Stream's going well. I mean, for the most part. We lost service on Space Mountain a few times and uh, people mover, but no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. What's going on over here? We got a little facelift on the backside of Columbia Harbor House. Ah, uh, the Rapunzel bathrooms. Aren't they beautiful? Let's head to Liberty Square. Maybe we'll swoop through Memento Mori and see some relics from regions beyond. Mommy! Look at how much the old. I like these. These are cool. These are cool. That's super cool. That's so cool. And it sings of the bust. Leota. Oh, 
I like that shirt, it's super cool. If you haven't seen Haunted Mansion and you've been on the ride, go check it out. It's fantastic. It's on Disney+. Plus. Again, I've said this a lot. If you've seen the movie, I think you're going to like it. If you haven't, you might have mixed feelings and it'll be a little bit confused, which is fair. Look alive. Check out these jackets. Just what you need in 80 degrees. Constance. They have a pin board. Uh, Haunted Mansion, 40 minutes. Sweet sassy molasses. The boats are leaving or pulling in? Pulling in, okay. say this a lot but what if I land too if I see two lanterns right there in the window Paul Revere yeah. gotta shout shout him out you know give him his due holy cow this bird that you see right here just flew up in my corner of my eye and that wingspan was incredible also slightly terrifying You know what I'm thinking? All this food talk. We might have to do what we do. Ring the bell. No. <laughs> Ah. I can smell the ye old Christmas tree shot from here. Oh, there's no crying at Disney. There's uh, many pet relief areas here. If you have a service animal, that's one of them right there. They're in every park, kind of hidden away, tucked away. You would never know, unless you know. And if you don't know, now you know, subscribers. Very nice. Olaf crushing it out there. The real star of the show. Let's get some spring rolls. Yes. Sound advice. How's it going? Can I do one of each, please? Yeah. The cold never bothered me yet. Sit in one of these beautiful benches right here. 
<sighs> it's funny how some distance. All right, look at this. Oh, got a great seat. I got some spring rolls. I got water. Living the dream. Oh, geez, Mickey. Trying to find a good spot. Maybe this wasn't. Wow, we're gonna make it happen. Oh yeah, so good. Hmm. Thanks for being out with me. I hope you're having an amazing Thursday so far. Enjoying a little spring roll action here at the entrance to Liberty Square. We got the stage show going on. What's better than this? For being here with me. All right, enough of this big red thing. So this is for the pepperoni, that is for the cheeseburger. The cheeseburger's underneath here. And he had two for $9.50. Not like the duel of the century, but not terrible for Walt Disney World. By the way, this part of the show, <laughs> I don't know if it's right after this. I think it's right after this. On stage left, so our right. Um. <laughs> Louie and Goofy interacting with each other was absolutely hilarious. So you're looking at the stage on the right. I just want to clarify. I don't know what I just said because I'm looking at something else and talking. But, uh, yeah, anyway, when you're looking at the castle on the right-hand side, you can see Louie all the way over there across the stage. <laughs> Him and Goofy were just doing non-verbal stuff during, like, the finale of the last show when we were videoing, and I just thought it was hilarious and adorable. These spring rolls are the breakfast of champions. I can confirm, I see two costumes I've never seen at the Magic Kingdom, and that is... I 
Look at this timing. Wrap up my spring rolls. Five fireworks in the Until I get to the middle. This timing couldn't be better. Smoke show. Thanks to all of you. All friends here. What's the whole thing about the show? See you all. See you all. We invite you to enjoy the rest of your magical friendship fair day here at the Magic Kingdom. Let's go explore Main Street a little bit. Normally, <laughs> that's the energy I love. We breeze down Main Street too fast a lot of the time, and we gotta soak it in, especially some of these amazing pumpkins that we only have another week of. You ever notice that the pumpkins are themed appropriately too? You got the Casey's fries and the hot dog right here at Casey's Corner. Do you ever take too big of a bite of ice cream and you get brain freeze and this is what your mind is screaming? There's even a little ice cream cone right there. The House of Magic. Some great pumpkins. You got the cards, the rabbit coming out of a hat, the crystal ball. It smells so good. Let's see if we can figure out some of these names. Ron Miller, former CEO. We saw, talked about Dick Nunes uh, last week. Well, he's on two windows. Look, it's Supervisor Dick Nunes on this one, and up top, the original Dick Nunes gym. He was tough. He didn't play games. I also love the pumpkins in the windows, like for the sailmaker, the sailboat. I'm pretty sure those are Disney's grandkids or Roy's grandkids, uh, where it says Roy, Patrick, and Abigail. Patty Disney, Susan Timothy. Oh, the Dans are out. You know what that means. We have to go watch. Oh, good song. anyone but I also want you to see oh I got a spot I got a spot do you know you can take a picture holding all those balloons just ask a cast member next time you're here watch this in the store through the store and wait for it out of the store <laughs> I got it I like that. I like that. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, this might have, this got to be my ringtone. You must have all the work. Donald Duck! Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. If you enjoyed our show today, we are the Nap Bands of Main Street. And if you did not enjoy our show today, we are the Vienna Boys Club. <laughs> <laughs> the magic is calling. I've never seen more sweatshirts for sale than at Disney on hot days. Ooh, this looks fancy. What do we think the price check is? I'm gonna play a game with myself. I have no idea what this cost. Uh, I'm gonna say a f even hundred, 99. Let's see. Oh my God, it's so much cheaper. It's like stealing. 40 bucks, that looks way more expensive. That's a steal. Oh, my dad used to have so many of these mugs. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to come back and get one. 20 bucks, not terrible. Reminds me of my dad. Who's the leader of the band? Ah, it smells great. I just come in here to smell it. From what I hear, if you just smell it, the calories don't count. So many M&Ms. 14 bucks a pound. We got some candied popcorn back there. Oh, you know what we didn't do? I blew right past it. Let's go back. <gasps> Baby, come back. The AC feels great, though, so we're going to stay inside just for a second. You're good. No worries. Who's the leader? Dan's staying and taking pictures. You can take pictures with the Dan's, too. Like I was saying, uh, you can do that iconic photo holding the balloons if you ever want to do that when you're coming down Main Street. Ask nicely. If a cast member says no, probably a good reason. Something about to happen. Maybe you forgot, please. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to head to Crystal Arts. We can go on the front entrance, but I like to come on in through the VIP entrance. Yo, VIP. Okay. VIP clearly shut down. <laughs> Maybe this one? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Let's just use the main entrance. What do you think of that? 
<laughs> you know what? This side just looks great. Look at this. Holy horseshoes. $52,745 for what would, to me, be a nonstop anxiety attack. <laughs> I couldn't put this anywhere in my house. It would be behind Bulletproof Glass. This glass is I'm thinking of. Or this one. Holy, I'm sorry. A hundred thousand dollars. Wow. I would be afraid to sneeze. I have to take all the pepper out of the house. That's crazy. Uh, still no glass action going on back here. Well, if you're ever looking for a cool little activity and you want to see where and how the magic happens when it comes to glass, it's right here. And they make creations just like this. These globes, these cups, vases, um, all get done right here. I think a lot of these were done right here. You got some flowers. But yeah, it's really neat. This is where uh, the magic happens. This is the VIP door I was talking about. Um, guys, doors must remain unlocked during operating hours. I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> uh, we're having fun. Just hanging out at Disney on a Thursday morning. Things are about to get real, though, today. We're heading to SeaWorld. Oh, snap. Got to go see my... My boy, my boy James. I've been friends with him since the end of the sixth grade. And now he's got his parents who have known me since I was a little kid. His wife and his kids are all in town. So today's their SeaWorld day. I miss the Disney days. I was just too busy, which is crazy, right? That's why, please don't ever be upset. If you say, hey, Pete, let's meet up at Disney and I'm just packed, believe me. I want to be there with everyone, including, I haven't seen my friend. My friend lives in, let's see, he just moved. Where did he move to? He moved uh, to, it's right near Dogfish Head Brewing. Is it Delaware? Sounds right. Delaware sounds right. So I haven't seen him in a while, but I'm excited I get to see him today over at SeaWorld. We'll be going to SeaWorld once they get their holiday decorations up because they do a great holiday spread, if you will. Their park really does come alive and they have beautiful holiday presentations for all faiths and all people who just have fun celebrating the holidays. I just like to look at the pumpkins and also the names in the windows. Oh, Ron Logan. I got to meet him right there as the conductor. We still have to come in and do the barber shop one day. Pumpkins above the firehouse, all pumpkin, all pumpkin out. I mean, all <laughs> firehoused up. And my favorite one, and I point out all the time. So if you've been here before, you know. But I just love that they have a pumpkin for the restrooms with an arrow. like. If you're looking at the pumpkins, like, oh, that's where the restrooms are. Happy birthday. Here we got City Hall. Looks great. Oh, here comes the train. Another real special thing that happens here every day at five o'clock is the flag retreat. If you've never seen it, I recommend you come hang out. All you gotta do is stand right here around this area uh, and they do a little presentation for the lowering of the flag every day. Very, uh, I don't know, it evokes emotion for me, but I think it's super cool. So if you ever have the time or you're looking for something real cool to do, come on down and check out the flag lowering 
ceremony. We call it the flag retreat. Well, we just wanted to do a few hours here quick. I do have to change, run over to SeaWorld and say hi to some friends there, but I wanted to spend some time with you here at the Magic Kingdom. But the fun is not over, because hang with me for a second. Let me just tell you how ridiculous the schedule is coming up, and this is also posted in our Discord. We're live again tomorrow at Epcot, because Hans is performing, more food and wine action, more fun. Then we are going, I don't know if we're gonna do live or edited or both. I think I got something special for, I still have a little special, something special for the Patreons. We have a special stream. It's going to be tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. It's actually, I'm fairly certain it's tomorrow. But who knows? Maybe we'll get an extra bonus stream today at Epcot. I mean, uh, SeaWorld. Anyway, let's get back on track here. SeaWorld today, tomorrow, Epcot, Hanson, food and wine, lots of fun. Then Saturday, we might pop on for a quick live stream. I'm not sure, but I'll be at Fort Wilderness filming some stuff, hanging out getting the lay of the land because Monday is the iconic, most amazing parade at Disney. It is the Four Wilderness Halloween golf cart parade and they go all out. The best one of the year and the entire campground, we're talking over 800 acres, is just completely done up. It's done by the temporary residents, if you will, the people staying there and they go all out. So we're gonna do the golf cart parade. We're gonna do the dance party down by the beach. We're gonna do the pumpkin judging contest. And we're gonna give you a full tour around Fort Wilderness, possibly Saturday and Monday, but definitely Monday. It could probably be a longer stream, if not two or three broken into two or three because there's so much to do. It's our mix it up Monday as well. We might do it on location. We'll see, there's a lot to be discussed. I gotta call Jess back, figure all this out. That's Monday, what's going on Tuesday? I think we have another thing Tuesday. Wednesday will be live again. I want to bring you over. It's the Wine and Dine Weekend. It's kicking off. Mike, over to ESPN's Wide World of Sports. Show you the expo. Show you the party happening over there. All the merch. All the vendors. What the process is like. Thursday, I think we're somewhere else too. I don't remember off the top of my head. But then Friday, I know we're going live as we do the 5K. I'm signed up. There'll be a bunch of us in town. Some people will be running competitively. Some will be just moseying. We'll be uh, what I like to call a easy breezy combination of the two. We might do a light jog here and there for the boring spots, but then slow it down and show you all the magic and fun of a Run Disney event. Then we are live again, I think Sunday or Monday after that. But again, that's even after this weekend. It's only 10 days out. It's crazy how much content's coming your way. Please make sure you subscribe that you got that bell on. Hit all notifications because we will be doing just random pop-up streams. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, November 2nd, we're doing the first day of holiday decorations here. That's another stream too. Oh my gosh. It's going to be pandemonium. Uh, while we walk out of here, I'm just going to say hi to some chat that I forgot to say hi to. We'll just keep this going. I might have to walk all the way in the contemporary. <laughs> Going back to when we were talking about New Fantasyland, I just saw your comment right here that said, well, you still call it New York. <laughs> There's a lot of, that is true. That's brilliant. I love it. New Mexico, New Hampshire. Yeah, so funny. Rebecca Dolan, we were uh, just commented that we were talking about the castle. That should they leave it this pale pinkish, bring it back to what it was, do something new. She said uh, she's rooting for them to bring it back. Brandy says they could have done a silver purple for the hundredth, but <laughs> Lynette says they'll leave it till the paint starts peeling, and that's what they'll do it. Honestly, I think that might be the best guess so far. Thanks to everybody who hit the like button. Really appreciate it. If you haven't done so yet now, you still have time. Would mean a lot. <laughs> Dawn says, I never wear blazers. Somehow I still want that one. When we were talking about the one in Memento Mori. <laughs> Andrew, uh, Drew from Boston in our Discord. 
I believe is telling us how he says Paul Revere. And he wrote Paul Revere. Paul Revere. Paul Revere. Paul. Paul Revere. I can't even do it. <laughs> I sound <laughs> awful. <laughs> I don't even know what accent I'm doing. Paul Revere. <laughs> Paul. Paul Revere rode through Dawn's Town. That's so cool. <laughs> Izzo said if we went to Skipper's, it'll go on for weeks. I didn't know that it went on for weeks for everybody. Mine ended. We said goodbye. But on a live stream, we said goodbye uh, during a meal at Skipper. And if you missed it, apparently it just said we were live forever. We always get demonetized, Izzo. <laughs> it's like one out of ten stays monetized. You can't really stay monetized at Disney, but it's okay. I just do it because I have fun with all of you. There's lots of ways you can contribute to the channel. Thanks to all the Patreons. Thanks to everybody who ever sends like a Venmo or a Super Chat. Thanks for your uh, cash app, Izzo. Appreciate it, by the way. Andrew said the pizza rolls are dry, so you got to use the sauce to make it worth it. I would normally agree until today. I don't know if it was early in the day, but that pepperoni pizza roll I just had was good without the sauce. The sauce is just so out of a bottle. <laughs> it's almost hard to enjoy. It does complement it a little bit. Like the sauce for the cheeseburger one is on point. I think you need the sauce. I mean, it's good without it, but it just puts it over the top. Rebecca says, I was wondering, do you get to write off food and beverage expenses part, uh, as part of a business expense? I mean, yes. I have an account for all that. Um, but also, that means I would have to make enough for me to be able to write it off. I don't really make enough through YouTube. We have to... It's some interesting accounting. That's why I have an account, because between like 10 different jobs and what gets written off for this, what gets written off for that... It's nice having the freedom of being self-employed, but also comes along with a bunch of new and interesting headaches. Like health insurance and taxes and all that other fun stuff that you gotta figure out. So I don't wanna mess it up, so I pay somebody. <laughs> Christina said the yummy spring rolls. I should've gotten those on my trip last week. There's always December. Yes, I love the spring rolls. Yes, the 50th one is gone. Some people were not fans. Well, let me just say, we're approaching my destination, the Bay Lake Tower here. I hope everyone has an amazing Thursday, like I said. Maybe we'll be live later on today or for the Patreons, but make sure you're, you're checked in, you got the bell on, you all those fun things so you find out right away. But we will definitely be live tomorrow from Epcot. Definitely be live from Fort Wilderness next week. Magic Kingdom next week. Uh, the... ESPN Wide World of Sports, the Run Disney event, the uh, Epcot again. Like, we're just so much going on. So please come hang out with me. It means the world. Uh, thanks everybody who watched. Today. Thanks everybody who hit the like button. My socials are all linked down below. So is the Discord, also linked here in the chat. Go check out our Discord. Best community on the internet. Completely free. Uh, my Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. My TikTok is Adventures by Carney. The Patreon's Adventures by Carney. Thank you so much, everybody who came and hung out with me this morning. It means a lot. Far two and a half hours together. Go crush it out there, and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. I love you. All right. Oh yeah, and uh, do me a favor. Please be kind to one another. Ciao.